students, I will be teaching chemistry for class 6 today. Uh, chapter 4, topic is uh, pure and mixed substances. Now, first of all, you see in the uh, page number 57 of your book, the definition of pure substance is given. What is a pure substance? Uh, this is a substance which is made of only one kind of molecules. Uh, so, for example, the elements and compounds are the uh, pure substance uh, because elements and compounds are made up of only uh, one type of uh, molecules, say molecules of uh, oxygen, it is made up of only uh, molecules of oxygen and compounds say for example if you take the water molecule, it is made up of only molecules of water. So you can uh, say elements and compounds are the pure substances. So let's see what are the properties of pure substances. So uh, for pure substance it will have some uh, fixed uh, boiling point and uh, bending point and it will have fixed specific gravity and uh, it will have uniform composition and also you have to know that uh, pure substance is made by uh, uh, chemical or uh, uh, it can be separated by chemical process it cannot be uh, separated by those components cannot be separated by physical process physical means now uh, you can say, uh, for example, if you take the um, tap water, actually it is not a pure substance because uh, it is uh, made up of water and uh, there is uh, water and also the, uh, dissolved gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, some other gases may be dissolved in it. And if you uh, say fruit juices also, uh, it is uh, not a pure because uh, it is mixed up uh, with the carbohydrate and then sugar then some other flavors will be there. So you can take uh, you know, some examples like that, that which are not pure. But uh, if you take the elements and compounds, these are pure substances. Now next, uh, let's go for the mixture. What is a mixture? Now, for mixture, it is uh, made up of different substances in uh, different ratios. The ratio, that components ratio will not be same. So it will be known as a mixture. So what is a mixture? It is a mixture of uh, substances, different substances or different kinds of molecules will be there. Uh, then they are uh, by which they are mixed up, that ratio will not be fixed. So that ratio will be changed, that is, that may be in the any proportion. Now, and uh, one more thing is that uh, if we could take the properties of mixture, then the compositions they have the individual properties, they will be retaining the individual properties. Uh, then uh, you can uh, uh, separate the components by physical means and also uh, um, new energy will take, uh, change, uh, takes place, uh, change takes place during the formation of the mixture. So because it is a, a made by the physical uh, process, it is not made by the chemical process. Then uh, the, the components of the mixture will not have, uh, uh, or you can say mixture will not have fixed bending point and boiling point because it will mix up with the different substances or different molecules. Now, if you go for the different kinds of mixture, there are two kinds of mixture. One is homogeneous, another one is heterogeneous. Now, what is the meaning of homogeneous mixture? Now, you see the, in your uh, that page number 59, you see that uh, what is the, the definition is given there in the, in the this one, right hand side column. Uh, what is the homogeneous mixture? in a mixture where the uh, components are mixed uniformly. So, uh, that will be known as the homogeneous mixture. For example, if you take the example that is uh, solution of salt, that is salt dissolved in water. So, here salt is the salt is the solute and water is the solvent. So, they make the solution of salt in water. So, it is a homogeneous mixture. Then, if you take the heterogeneous mixture, they are made up of different types of uh, this one, uh, uh, molecules, uh, not in the fixed ratio, the way they will not be mixed up uniformly, so they are known as heterogeneous mixture. Now, for example, you can take sand in water. If you mix up sand in water, you will see that uh, it will not be mixed up properly, it will not be mixed up uniformly. So these are known as heterogeneous mixtures. Now you can take any other example in day to day life. Uh, what are the uh, homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture? Now uh, let's go for the definition of the what is the solute? Solute means it is the 
substance which will be dissolved in solvent. Now, what is a solvent? Means water, uh, mostly water with the solvent. So, in the case of this example, there is salt in water, that solution made. So, that uh, salt will be the solute and water will be the solvent. So, if you mix up the, uh, that means if you dissolve the solute in solvent, salt is zero in water. So, altogether it will be known as the solution. So, you see there is a definition given in your book, that is in the page number 59. You can see in the left hand side uh, bottom, you can see the definition for it. Now, uh, now in the page number 59, uh, it is given uh, why air is not uh, considered as a uh, this, uh, compound, it is a mixture. Now, uh, you have to know the properties of the mixture, what the properties of mixture, that means the composition can be separated by the physical means, then the composition will not, that means uh, the mixture will not have the fixed melting point or boiling point and uh, when uh, they, um, this uh, air is formed, there is no uh, formation of this energy change takes place and uh, they don't undergo any chemical change in the uh, formation of the air. So, air will be known as the, uh, the and the one more thing that uh, there is the main point of the uh, mixture there is uh, in here the composition of the there is uh, here there is uh, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen and whatever other given gases they are not mixed up in the fixed ratio of their weight that means they are mixed in the in any proportion. Uh, so, uh, you know what is in the why it is known as the mixture. Now, you can see that uh, how it is, uh, the components of the air is separated in the page number 58, it is uh, shown there. First of all, uh, the air is cleaned, uh, then it is made dust free, then it is compressed and cooled, then it is uh, that liquid air, that compress, uh, after compressing the air, it will be liquid. The liquid air is again warmed, allowed to warm slowly. So, if you warm the liquid, yes, yeah, slowly, then you see you get the uh, all the components uh, mostly the nitrogen then you get iron and oxygen okay so that is given shown in your uh, book that is in the page number 58 now next uh, uh, one more point that is uh, any solution is a homogeneous mixture then and there is another uh, this uh, mixture that is known as known as alloy now what is an alloy Alloy are the homogeneous mixtures of one metal with the another metal. So you get the definition uh, uh, with the one, one metal with the non-metal uh, or with the metal and metal or metal with the non-metal. So that is called an alloy. So you get in the page number 59. You see in the top there is uh, written there. Did you know in the page number 59 top? Uh, you can see it. Now next, uh, what are the needs for? Uh, we need to separate the components of the mixture. We cannot keep it like that uh, because you see uh, now um, uh, I think you have seen that uh, sometimes that milkman used to mix the water with the milk. Okay, so if you uh, if you, that water is mixed with the milk, they do not remain pure. So you have to uh, see that how it can be separated out from the that uh, pure substances. Now uh, then. What are the needs for the separation of the components of the mixture? Now, in the, that is in the page number 60, you will see uh, what are the uh, reasons. Now, first of all, we need the pure substance from the impure one. We want to separate the pure substance from the impure one. Then, uh, one more point is that we need, uh, we want to maintain the quality of the uh, this uh, substances. Then. You, uh, you want to uh, remove that impure one from the pure one because you want to get the pure one. So, uh, suppose uh, if you want to take rice, when you eat the rice, if you get the stones, if you get some other things, you don't like it. So, we want to remove the undesirable things from your uh, that eatables or whatever it is to make it pure so that you can uh, have it or you can use for the uh, other purposes. So, that is the reasons why we need to uh, remove the components of the mixture. We need to separate the components of the uh, mixtures. Now, in your page, uh, in your book, in page number 60, mixtures of daily uses. What are the different types of mixture given and what are the types 
uh, is the constituent of the mixture that is a composition of mixture is given so you can see it now soil is uh, first one is soil is given soil is a mixture of this clay sand then various other soils will be there mineral soils will be there in the that uh, in this soil now next uh, um, if you see the soft drinks soft drinks are also made up of water and together with that there will be sugar there will be carbohydrate there will be flavors there will be colors so you can say that soft drinks are the mixture of the different types of substances then sea water sea water it is not a pure substance it is made up is a mixture so it is a made up of salt that is dissolved in water so that's why if you take the sea water if you taste it then you will see that it is salty it is salty in nature then milk milk is a mixture of carbohydrate fat protein and that is in water or mixture with the that's a mineral source is there in milk that is with the water the smoke now smoke is a mixture of carbon particles uh, that is uh, suspended in the air okay uh, then um, now there are there are different types of uh, different methods for separating the mixture uh, one method is there from uh, solid to solid mixture another one is from solid to liquid mixture so there are different types of mixture there are solid and solid mixture solid and liquid mixture liquid and liquid mixture then it can be uh, gas and gas mixture so how we can separate it out we'll see it uh, the one by one now first one is that methods of separating mixture first method is given separate uh, from solid to solid so what are those methods first one is given winnowing then hand picking then magnetic separation then it is given sieving sublimation uh, so these are the different methods for separating solid to solid now we will see it uh, one by one what are those methods uh, now first of all winnowing uh, what is the process it is a process uh, by which farmers used to farmers used to separate the hacks from the grains now when is lifted up with the, some container those grains and uh, mix up with the hacks and it is just poured like this then we used to blow away all the hacks which is lighter than the grains so the uh, heavier grains will be putting coming down at the bottom yeah, and the lighter hacks will be flown away with the wind so this process is known as the winding now what is the principle the principle is that when the two components are among the components one is lighter another one is heavier we can separate it by the process of winning so in mostly in cases of the uh, this uh, uh, hacks and green this method is used to separate the green from the hacks now next one is that hand picking so by the name only you can uh, say that uh, what is the hand picking is you will pick up the those uh, undesired uh, particles that is impure substances uh, from the pure one so you would take the mixture of say uh, so um, uh, the principle is based on the um, how it is uh, different type size shape or colors by seeing the colors you can separate it by hand picking now uh, now you see um, in the most cases you will see that uh, that hand picking is used to um, clean the you have seen in your house maybe your mothers or your parents will be cleaning the dolls which are not clean that is uh, bought from the um, market so if you take out those uh, pebbles or if you take out those uh, some other unwanted particles by hand picking from dolls or from the rice grains uh, there may be stones in maybe there in the rice so uh, rice grains so there is known as the hand picking so this is another method now the third method is that magnetic separation now what is magnetic separation in now in that separation one of the substance components have to be magnetic in nature because it will be separated by the magnet that is the principle because the magnet will be attracting the substance those magnetic substance say iron so what is the method the method is used to take out the those iron particles or magnetic substances from the those components with the help of magnet for example if you take a mixture of iron with uh, sulfur so if you take the this uh, magnets near that mixture you will see that the iron particles are attracted by the magnet 
Now, uh, in page number 61, you see there is one definition given that is called electromagnet. Now, what is the electromagnet? When uh, electric current is passed through soft iron, then it will act like a magnet. So, it is known as the electromagnet. So, then uh, with the electromagnet, a different other work can be done. Now, next, in the page number 62, we will see another method that is called sieving. Now, in this method, it is based on the uh, principle of filtration. Now, what is filtration actually? Now, if you take a mixture, two mixtures, solid mixture, then one is the, uh, the mixture is, uh, the component is the smaller size, another one is bigger size. You see that, if you just shake that C plate, you see that that smaller one is coming out um, through that, this is the holes of the C plate, and the, um, that uh, bigger one, it will be left over on the, that C plate. So, you can separate out the, that, uh, that unwanted particles unwanted particles through the C plate. For example, uh, you can, uh, this one, uh, you have seen the floor, and that is um, atta. So, when you just uh, separate the input things the, with the help of C plate, you see that that unwanted particles will be, it will be left over on the C plate and the, the pure atta or the floor will be coming out uh, on the that C plate or that net. And another example you can take, uh, you've seen that uh, this one that um, C plate is used for making tea. So after making tea, if it is uh, that uh, C plate is, uh, in the C plate that uh, tea is put with the liquor, then the, the, uh, the, this one, tea leaves will be left over on the that C plate. So there is the application of the sieving. You can separate out the unwanted things from the, uh, this one, pure one. Then you get, can the, get the pure substances. Now, the fifth method is that sublimation. Now, what is that uh, method? Uh, in that method, one of the substances have to be having the lower boiling point. Say, if you take camphor and if you take the iodine. So, if you heat it, you will see that the camphor is, uh, if you heat it, that camphor will be coming out slowly, uh, then it will be evaporated. Only iodine will be left over. So, you can take this. Uh, uh, example uh, for sublimation. Then you can take this uh, mixture of salt and ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride is a volatile, that means having the less uh, boiling point. So when you heat it, then the, uh, this one, that uh, ammonium chloride will be evaporated and the salt will be left over on the, that uh, this one, that ev evaporating dish. Uh, then, now, uh, the principle is uh, made uh, this one. Uh, on the basis of um, that uh, uh, components having the lower boiling point. So, uh, in a sublimation, what is the, um, the process in which one of the components will be directly becoming the gases. They will be converted into gas instead of converted into liquid. So, it will be that camphor or that uh, this ammonium right, actually they are solid. So, when they are heated, they will directly become gas. So, that uh, uh, middle, that state, that is liquid state will be skipped. So, directly we will get the that gaseous state. So, when you cool that gaseous state, we can get back the camphor or we can get back the ammonium. You can see that that uh, one experiment that is shown in page number 62, that is uh, the that uh, container that uh, china dish then uh, there is another inverted funnel is there so the arrangement is made then it is heated then on the uh, top side of the that funnel inverted one the uh, ammonium chloride is deposited because the uh, top or, uh, upper portion is the cooler cooler region so the ammonium chloride is deposited there so so these are the ways by which uh, the components of the solid and solid mixture can be separated out now, in the next class, we will be discussing about the uh, how you know, to separate liquid or a solid or maybe liquid liquid or maybe um, this one, uh, other, some other components in a mixture. So, this is all for today. Thank you.